Was that an impressive victory or what? A 4-1 win for the Leafs. I'll be quite honest. I, I was expecting May to, you know, maybe a bit of a a tough night for the Leafs. I thought the stars were aligning for the Winnipeg Jets to find their game after laying an egg in Montreal on Tuesday, but I was dead wrong. And Ilya Samsonov, of course, is a big reason why. But the Leafs came to play and uh, sweeping away the two-game season series here with the Winnipeg Jets, winning both games 4-1, the first one on October 22nd in Winnipeg. Now, this one, 4-1 last night. Um, what really stood out for me is their dominance in the second period. You see it there on your screen, second period studs. They're plus 26 in the second period this season, which I think is epic. If only they could translate that over to the first and the third period, then they'd be feeling great. But I think, obviously, it correlates directly with their record. When you give them the lead, you're in trouble, and then they sort of take over in the second period. That's been a theme. And it was a theme in last night's game where they score three goals to open up a 3 nothing lead against Winnipeg, and the Jets are playing catch-up all night long after I thought they dominated the first period. After the first, I'm like, well, this might not be Toronto's night, but uh, full credit to them because they came out guns a-blazing in the second. And it started with Poppy. Uh, Austin Matthews, two more goals, now five in his last four outings. I don't know about you out there, but he just looks like a completely different player since missing those two games last week in the back-to-back. -back. He looks rejuvenated. He looks refreshed. Uh, you know, the bounce is there. He was named an all-star last night. Everything's trending upwards for Austin Matthews. I know he's far behind Connor McDavid, but never say never. McDavid's got 39 goals after his goal last night against Tampa. But uh, I really, really noticed Matthews again. That's the third straight game dating back to Boston game, the Florida game, and now the one last night against Winnipeg. And he's really, really starting to cook. I think of note, too, that's his first two-goal outing since November 5th. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I think we're all waiting for that eruption from Matthews, and I think we have met the match when it comes to that conversation. Of course, Toronto's got Montreal coming up tomorrow night. Uh, I, the Habs always play Toronto tough, regardless of who's out of that lineup. They're really, really banged up right now, but I think it could be time for Matthews to do his thing here and get back involved in that, that conversation for the Rocker Richard. But at any rate, uh, I think he's been really, really strong since coming back. And how about that shot block? Like, you don't believe that this team has bought in significantly more than they have in, in recent seasons? Just look at the game last night, the shot block there late from Austin Matthews. I just think proven a point. And uh, Rosie and I have been talking about it all week, just the buy-in with this team and how professional they've been and standing up for each other. Bunting did it earlier this week. There just seems to be more team unity than we've seen in years past. But again, maybe we're a victim of trying to create narratives to think this year is going to be any different for this Leaf squad. But I, I'm going to piggyback off that because I do like what I've seen from this team in terms of standing up for each other, blocking shots, you know, the heavy type plays that not necessarily you want to do, but are necessary to do if you want to win hockey games, specifically in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So I was thoroughly impressed with Austin Matthews last night.